Stranger Things had trained rats for the show, so why were they fired? In this video, we'll be looking behind the scenes at all the CGI creations from the show. What did it look like when Millie Bobby Brown was battling the Mind Flayer? How about the special software that made the rats bubble? Let's take a look. Millie Bobby Brown puts up a pretty amazing fight against the Mind Flayer. But on the set, she definitely had the upper hand since these wild, long, and slimy tentacles weren't actually there and on the attack. Brown's performance combined with the CGI creatures make this scene totally believable. Of course, we can't forget this special monster attack. It's honestly a terrifying moment, but taking a peek behind the scenes, we see the monster wasn't the slimy mess that we see, but a lump of black material with some tracking spots on it that gets thrown off and away. Well, that's nice. We can't talk about the VFX of the Netflix hit without acknowledging one of the most incredible CGI feats of all. We're talking about the Mind Flayer. With the effects brought to life, this creature stands to be one of the most terrifying there is. But behind the scenes, it's a totally different picture as we can see here, with this giant beach ball at the end of a stick waving around throughout the set of a mall. This blue screen in the middle of the forest also helped in playing the role of the Mind Flayer. Check out how much of the shot is actually entirely CGI created. As for when Dacre Montgomery faces off with the monsters, instead of the giant creature coming at him from above, we can see that his enemy is actually angled up from below and less slimy and, uh, well, more like a long silver pole with a big black handle at the end. At the other end of the pole was a stuntman just hidden off screen. All this time, we've been building it. While the majority of this monster was created with CGI, behind the scenes, things looked less terrifying and a bit, well, uh, absurd. Check out this stunt guy dressed in red with, yes, that's a mirrored helmet. His running around, flailing arms, and screaming looks ridiculous as is here, but when the effects are all added in, we see just how effective the simulation is for creating the Tom Bruce monster. Check him out as he manages to creepily crawl over Natalia Dyer. His creature-like movements are perfect for emanating the monster that would join via CGI. Part of the reason for having this physical person enact the monster was to help the actor's performances. While it looks a bit silly, it was clearly super effective and helped the whole team to bring their A-game. Oh, and as for the mirror helmet? It wasn't just used because of how cool it looks. Practically, it was used to capture the light reflecting and how it would hit the creature. A special detail that really helped make the CGI look real. When the signature neon lights of the Starcourt Mall aren't up, the building doesn't look as wonderful. And the fact is, it's entirely created by CGI anyway. We can see in the mapping here that they're making sure to take care of every single detail. These CGI cars spread throughout the parking lot, the detailed work on the roof, and of course, the recognizable bright front entrance. As for the inside of the mall, well, it's pretty real, but fortunately the Mind Flayer didn't do nearly as much damage as we see in the final cut. We can see in this behind the scenes shot that the destruction of the Mind Flayer is done mindfully with some practical bits adjusted here and there. The set is definitely a mess when the monster is finally defeated. There are some obvious worn and damaged looking remnants we can see here. Combine this set with these incredible special effects and the result really is amazing. There were some very messy interactions between the humans and the monsters. Remember all those people that were flayed? Each one of them had practical makeup done, but when the monster took over, CGI was key. Remember the tentacles latched directly on these faces? It's a terrifying image, but behind the scenes, there was a lot of playing pretend and the actors definitely did a stellar job at acting as if life were being taken from them. You don't have to do this. While there were loads of incredible CGI creations throughout the Stranger Things series, the rats of season three were epic. First of all, just look at the sheer number of them scurrying about. They look freakishly real, and in fact, at one time, they were. The team actually had rats trained and prepared, but they turned out to not be at the same level as the rest of the performers, so these CGI rodents were brought to life. Just when we think we've seen them all, somehow more rats always seem to appear out of nowhere. The amount of detail really adds to how convincing these scenes look. If we check it out closely, we can see literally every strand of hair, whisker, and of course, those signature creepy black beady eyes. Then of course are the rats that go through, uh, well, let's just say a bit of a tougher time. 
More on those CGI rodents later. Why just have regular rats when you can also have melting and exploding rats? Okay, maybe we haven't thought that ourselves, but the Stranger Things team definitely did. Remember these melting creatures in Miss Driscoll's basement? Let's just say we preferred them when they were the regular creepy rats. How did they make these strange and literally bubbly effects? A special software called Houdini was responsible for those effects used for the textures. The jam-like substance is super creepy to begin with, and then it moves. The effects team put great detail into simulating a mixture of various items and, of course, coated it off with some slime for good measure. Did you happen to notice the slick black tail amongst the slime blob? It's that kind of extra touch that really made these creatures perfect for the world of Stranger Things. The effects team made sure to get the approval of the kids of the show, too, all of whom thought their creation was horrifying. That's when they knew it was a winner. Remember this dark and stormy beach? It was much more pleasant when they were actually shooting. They added these incredible huge rolling clouds, further highlighted by the reds, blues, and purples bursting through with light, creating an extremely intimidating scene. How about this intense fight? It looks like it's right in the middle of this brutal and blustering storm, but in reality, the whole thing wasn't even taking place on the beach like it was earlier in the scene. This whole sequence looks so different and way less intense in the green screen studio, but the actors do an amazing job with their performances to make the whole scene believable. The added VFX and CGI just bring it to that stellar Stranger Things level. Mike? This was one of the Duffer Brothers' favorite VFX used in the third season of Stranger Things. Inside the Russian lab, our minds are totally blown when we see the high-tech machinery going. The giant spinning turbine-like object alone has excellent effects like the speed of the spinning, lighting within, and the way the mechanism moves as a whole. Even some characters, like these workers we see, are entirely computer-generated. Though, there was an actual structure that sat in the place of the fantastical machine. See this long frame that holds the general shape of the turbine? The team even added these large silver balls to reflect the lights realistically, so the effects team had that to work with while adding all the CGI we see in the final product. The snow in this exterior shot is both gorgeous and extensive. We totally believe it could be a real place. Until we see the CGI magic behind the creation showing us that it is just that. A totally CGI creation. In order to bring the scene to life realistically, the team incorporated things like thousands of snowflakes floating in the air, as well as using wind simulation so the blustering landscape looks real. Looking closely, we can appreciate all the architectural details added. All of this really completes the incredible computer-generated images. Who do you work for? The CGI of Stranger Things has continued to improve throughout the seasons, and we have no doubt that the fourth season will do the same. Which effect do you think was the hardest to create?